What's up guys, welcome to episode 9 of Pokemon Legends Arceus, and in this video I think we're going to get another mission from the commander, so let's see what happens, because that's I think how last episode ended. So now I think what we're going to have to do is head over to the commander's place and then we'll go over to, I don't know where she is, but one of, to basically show her our report. But yeah, also, I remember the end of last episode, we got a bunch of new bows, like the feather bows, the pokey bows, and the heavy bows. So yeah, let's go head over to Commander Kamado, I think. I command you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next order are to begin the survey corps on Kobat Coastlands. I will let you know in advance, there are no, no Pokemon Nobos in Cobalt co Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did a lot, we, d we did have a Lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago, a tragedy took him from us. Now, we've had strange reports of people saying, seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We have also received a word from both the survey corps and survey security corps and survey cor supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around the fire spit island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear now. by now. I hereby order you to investigate these imp these reports. Okay, so the Lordless Island. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Triaptor. Think nothing of it. Triaptor is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he will sort things out. Indeed, Triaptor quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Did. Okay, so. Okay, oh, we already teleported to her already. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands. Much farther. And the path is long and trying. You must be at least a third star in our ranks to be able to tackle the coastlands. Strive to defeat Pokemon in battles and observe them using particular moves in your survey work. Work on such research tasks to ready yourself and help with any requests that might that have been posted on pr the professor's blackboard in his lab. Okay, so I don't actually think... Okay, so I think... We're gonna have to level up, which will take a while. So I don't know if next episode will be when we go to the that place, but let's see. So let's head over to the blackboard. There are some request posters on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Maybe it's you about size. Classary from the Sur security corps has a request from us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good old lady and ex investigate as necessary. If you please. Oh, good lady. I don't know why I said that. Well, yeah. Okay, so. Do bat eyes. And then maybe we'll go with playing with Drifloon. Okay, so that one. And the last one, maybe. Krogan's creative poison. There we go. Okay, so we'll head over to those requests. And get, like, do other requests also. Well, what Pokemon's this? Why is Oshawott in there? This doesn't seem very nice. Uh, okay. Um. So if we head out now, and we'll go do the requests and lots of other quests, and if we don't, if we still don't have a, enough levels to get to the next rank, we'll do like other requests. So if we head over to our map, and then if we press mission and requests, so requests. Okay. So maybe. So which one should we do? We'll do this one first. I don't know where that is. So, was it? Oh, it's in here. Oh yeah, it's that 
wait, I, no, I don't actually know who's giving us the real quest. So, oh, it's in here. Okay, hello. Ah, you're here from the quest quest about Krogung. A, dim a member of the Diamond Clan told me they, ha they make medicine by diluting po Krogon's poison. Medicine made from Krogon's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to have some to give Buck, the poor gentleman's bed region from the back pain. I know how to make medicine, so all I need is some help getting my hands on Krogon's poison. Head to the Crimson Mylands and catch Krogon, wouldn't you? I've already had Krogon. Will you let me have Krogan? Okay, so if we hold here, okay, there, select. Yes. So this is a Krogan. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? Um, no. I need a sm smidgen of your poison, please, Krogan. Would you be so kind? Grunk. Thanks very much. Now to whip up that medicine. There we have it. This ought to be super effective. Pokemon come in our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people and Pokemon if we set, could set up some kind of aid f facility where Pokemon worked us side by side with us. Of course, we'll need to learn so much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. I'm starting to think the Server Corps work will help us in ways pe po people aren't even aware of. Could this be one of their first Norse joys or something? Psst. My poor back, it's screaming. One moment, I've got a medicine that ought to be a great help. It looks like we have we have Buck up on his feet again, thanks to you and Krogan. There we go, okay, so there's one challenge. Well, yeah, let's go to the next one. Or the request, basically. So the next one may be Zubat's eyes. So where is it? Where is Zubat's eyes? There will mark that, so we can go head over there. Because I'm only doing the Pokemon we have, and then if we can't do any more, we'll do the Pokemon we don't have and maybe catch them. Or I think we'll just try to catch a bunch of Pokemon in the different places, like the Fieldland Mirelands and thing, and stuff. I think no Crimson Mirelands. Okay, we can't go that way. There we go. This is Zubat's eyes request, I think. Hi, Classiri. Clarissa of the security corps. That's me. Thanks so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can have a look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but I have a good reason for it. Zubat never seems to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means the night vision must be top notch. If I could learn to see how, how to see in the dark like them, night ships on guard duty would be a breeze. So I'm counting on your help. Catch a Zubat and show it to me, would you? Okay, we already have one. Uh, so where is our Zubat? There we go. I just take a look at the, those peppers, if you please, Zubat. It doesn't have eyes, does it? Huh? Where are those eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me. It doesn't have eyes. But... But that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind. Hmm, Zubat must have some other kind of secret sense if it doesn't even need eyes. Sigh, that's amazing at all, but it hardly helps me. What I'm going to do about nighttime shifts on guard duty? Get a partner, Zubat. Oh, that's a nice, a good idea. No need for me to go it alone. After all, I, a little help would be great. That's that then. I'll go out there and find a Zubat that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the great advice. Okay, where's the next request? Okay, so... A beautiful rose. Uh, bought this from Bidoof. 
Where is the... Okay, it's over here. So, mark that. I really want to go there in the future. That's the first thing I kind of... One of the first things I noticed in this game at the start of the series. But yeah. And I keep saying this, like... That's the number one that I think I said in the first village in the first video, but I really love this village. It, they really designed it really well, Pokemon. But yeah, okay, so let's head over here. That's the those darn B doof. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no feat. I have a job that's perfect for a higher achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Ah, the, it's those pesky B doof again. They're cute. They're not doing anything. They're just running around. They're cute. I look away for one second and those little scoundrels waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. Oh, you're not. How can I face up, face Captain Zissu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Tissue, me, Tissue, Muggy. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, this Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I could handle my, on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard those that these partic particular pests can be easily distracted in other Bisu if other Bidoofs are nearby and end up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize the chance to catch a little Trevor Mixer. Voila, that's the perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll, be, we'll get all three caught in no time at all. Okay, there. So if we get... Wait, do I have to take my BDF out? First thing first, we need to find out where those pesky BDF are doed off to. Remember, they should let their guards down as long as you have another BDF with you. Okay, so how do I change my Pokemon? Hmm. But I don't have a B dupe equipped with me. Uh pineapple berry, sir. Okay, I'll take it. No, I don't have enough. Okay, so I don't really mind that, but I need to find out how I can change my Pokemon. Hmm. I don't know. Like, how do you change your Pokemon? Like, I know how to do it. You have to go campfire, but I don't want to go all the way there. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to. So, that's a bit of a shame, but it doesn't matter. So, if we head over, we'll go to closest. Obsidian Fieldlands. And then we'll just head over to the Heights Camp. Oh, no. We'll just, that's just... For some reason, it's not letting us. Okay, so, hmm. I need to change my Pokemon. I just don't know how. Um. Hmm. Okay, that's a. B We're in a bit of a pickle. Hmm. Investigate Canada Bridge. Okay. Um, we might actually skip that request and do it later. But I don't know, like, it should be easier. Like, this should be, like, somewhere it says. Hmm. Maybe if I go inside and talk to the professor, maybe he'll do that thing where he lets us change our Pokemon. Or maybe we go into our house. I'm not sure. But yeah, so if we head over... No, that's her. Um, where's the professor? Where's the professor? Okay. I see your po your Pokemon research is coming along nicely. May I find your record your findings? Yes. So there we go. Okay, that's like nothing. Jolly good. Keep up the fine survey work. Okay, I think we'll do it later because I don't know where to find it. What's this? Okay, so I think we might actually head over to somewhere to another place and maybe just catch a bunch of Pokemon and show it to the professor. Because I think that's a quicker way of leveling up. So we can get to rank 3. 
and then when we're rank 3 we'll be able to do the request but I don't know if we can do the request this video but I'll see so yeah let's head over to the guards and head over to the crimson marlands maybe yeah we'll head over to the crimson marlands because they're they have the best pokemon which will help us level up way easier to get to the next rank okay so here we are so if we get out our pokeballs and maybe just find pokemon also we can maybe catch the onyx so here's a psyduck All oh, that literally caught like between its toes and like the floor. That was like such a weird shot. Had oh, oh my god, its belly's like deflected my shot. Maybe we can also catch this. Oh my god, those heavy bows are really heavy. Ah! No! Oh, these Pokemon are a bit annoying. Ah! Can't catch one. Oh, okay. I don't know how to use, like, I know how to use heavy balls, but I don't know how to catch a Pokemon without it seeing me with, with without getting close. Maybe it just meant like that. Okay, that was right on the forehead. Okay, there's one car. There's another call. That parasex can Oh wait, it didn't see me. Oh yes, it sees me. Yes, it definitely, okay, I'm running away. Okay, that's really strong. Whew. Okay, that was not good for us. So maybe if we head over to the next area. Oh wait, maybe the Psyduck. I know I have all these Pokemon. I just think if we catch a few of them, we'll be able to level up quicker. Okay, that Psyduck's annoying. a weird fluff thing. What is this? How strong it is? Is it? Uh, maybe we'll send out our Kadabra because I want to see how strong it is. Would you? Stone score. We're paralyzed. Hmm. Maybe we'll use Psycho Cut. We're still paralyzed. Then no shock. Yeah, we're running. It's so small though. Like, you know, like the smaller, the weaker. It doesn't work like that, but like, it's normal when it's like super weak still. Parasect, we got it. Maybe this other Parasect. Okay, no. Okay, so... Ooh, side up. There, head. That's a good dodger. Okay, so I think we'll head over to the next part of this. And maybe get our heavy bow out. 
There we go. Okay, out the back. Can we still catch them with this if they see us? No. Okay, I don't think I'll waste any more of those heavy bows. So I guess... I think heavy bows are like ultra bows, maybe? Okay, there's the onyx. That was the onyx I was talking about. Okay. I don't want to attack this dude. Um, do we have any good Pokemon against her? Maybe Ghastly. We we'll tried that. How strong is this Onyx? Twenty-one. That's not bad. Maybe we we'll use. Venno shock. Yeah, we'll just use two Venno shocks, and then we'll use a heavy ball. No. Okay. I think maybe we should go straight for the heavy ball. So if we use Star Tricks now, and then if we go to items, and then we just use a heavy ball. One. There we go. Okay, so we got an onyx that's new at least. It's good for us. Also, we should try to use the feather ball. Ooh, these are useful. Oh, I love these bows. They're actually good. Oh, these are really good, these ones. You can, like, shoot them from super far away. Okay, we've caught four of those. That was the worst throw I've ever done. There's one of those, and then we'll go back to the feather ball. Okay, yes, we can't get that. We only have six feather bows left, so I think we should use them wisely. Yeah, that was not wisely. This one? What is that? It was another graveler. Yes, we're catching a lot. There's another goblin. Okay, I think we should run. I think... Uh, there's a... One of those tango ones. There's another. Okay, we won't go for that. There we go. Okay, no, we don't have any more feather balls. Okay, so that one. Can we go down here? Yes. 
play that seriously. Okay, both of them seize us. Okay, yeah, I think we're good now. I think we should maybe head back to the professor. So where would the professor be? Where's the camp? Okay, so we'll head over to the camp and see how much we'll get. 23 Pokemon. That's a lot. 5,000? It's not bad. Almost 6,000 technically. Oh, it seems like you made some new observations. Let's have a look then. Hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokédex with this new data. Okay, so I'm going to continue the excursion. But with all that new stuff I've got, I think I might actually... Hmm... Maybe I'll, I'll buy some stuff. I could, I'd like to do some shopping. Okay, I can't buy it here. But okay, I think we'll just get a, I think we'll do, a, we'll just buy a bunch of Pokeballs. We'll go with 30 for now and buy some more later. And also I think we'll rest our Pokemon. Oh no, I don't want to see them, I want to rest. Just for a little while. Okay, so we're all happy now. So maybe we'll we'll just catch a bunch of them. Oh, we still have a bunch of heavy balls. I forgot about that. So there's one of those. Those feather balls are really good. I might use them as one of my main balls. There's a cider. There's a carnivine. That parasect sees me. I think we'll head away from here. The problem is, is that there's a. Please make it over here. How can we not? We can easily get over that. Okay, so I don't know what really which Pokemon to go for. We could try to get Psyducks. For some reason, they escape the Pokeballs pretty easily, which is a bit annoying. And I don't know how, because they're pretty weak. Yeah, and they see you pretty easily. Okay, so... Maybe we'll head out of here. There's a carnivine. It sees us. I hope one of those weird mystery, like... I'm gonna say globes. They're like this weird globe things. And then lots of Pokemon spawn. And like they could be useful. Ooh, there's a Tangula. But I'm not going to risk my chances trying to catch it. Maybe there could be some new Pokemon over here. Is that Krogan? Yes. Oh my god, this side of... God, these guys are so annoying. Maybe we'll catch a cricket tune. Oh, there's a Bidoof. I'm literally the 
Worst Pokeball throw I think in the world. And I'm being serious. Because I'm super bad at catching Pokemon with them. Okay, that crow gun sees me. Oh, that would have been my best throw if I actually hit her. With that? Okay. Ooh, a ghastly. Ooh, this this is really annoying. But now it's night time, there will be some ghastlies and stuff spawning. And maybe hopefully some haunters, which I don't know if they spawn at night. But I think they do. Whew. Okay, this is not good at all. And we're almost out of Pokeballs. I don't really know what to... Also, the moon looks really close in this game for some reason. Like, if you look up, it looks really close to, like... I don't know what to call this. Pokemon or Pokemon Land. Poke Land. Or Pokemon World. I don't know. But yeah, the moon looks really close. So, maybe if we head up here... I don't know how this ghastly could possibly see me. Yeah, I don't know how it saw me. Like... Probably most of my body wasn't showing. For some reason, it says to come over here. Good. Is this the next place it wanted us? Would you like to report your survey reports oh, to the professor? Yeah. Okay, so we'll report. That's barely anything. Okay, only 1,800. Seventy, seventy, one, forty. That's not bad though. I might return to the village and actually go and buy some of those stones and buy a bunch of feather bows because they're super easy to catch Pokemon with and I might buy like a bunch of them, like maybe like 50. Well, like I'll buy the things to craft it and then I'll buy like 50 and then I make like 50 because they're, I really need those. Okay, is this where you buy them? No. I don't really know where- I forgot where to buy them. I th yeah, it's over here. Definitely, I remember. Okay, so, craft, and then... Tumble stone. No, it's not here. I don't know how to buy them. I like- I- like- I need- I forgot how to craft- how to get the tumble stone. Crafting materials. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I think we'll buy maybe... We won't buy all of them. All we can. Maybe we'll buy 30. How much April coins do we have? 16. So we'll buy... 14 more. To make 30. Very good. There we go. And then we'll craft like... 30 of these sky... And then maybe we'll just buy a bunch of Pokeballs also. Okay, so I think we're ready now. And I think we'll head back to the village and carry on catching a bunch of Pokemon. And then I might end the video there and then we'll do the next mission next episode. Okay, here we are. Oh, there's the BDF person. Okay, so where should we head out? Oh, uh, so there's the... Hmm. So there's that place and that place. Obsidian field lands with the Crimson Mired lands. I might head back to the Crimson Mired lands because there's a bit, bunch of better Pokemon over there than the field lands, I think. I forgot what the other one was called. But yeah, okay, so we're here now. Oh, it's still night time, so there'll be still a bunch of annoying Pokemon. But if we have our feather bows, right? Where is it? Like, where are they? I definitely crafted them. Okay, we'll go crafting. What? 
Wait, where are they? I definitely had them. You guys saw. You guys saw. What? Wait, do I still have my money? How much money do I have? 2000. Okay, I don't know where they went. All those? Oh, wait, they're here. Oh, okay. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> okay, that, that was really weird. Okay, yes. <laughs> How do I see them? Do I go over here? I'd like to do some shopping. Wait, no, I don't want to sell them. I want to deselect and move this. No, I w how do I move them with my satchel? Maybe I have to go to I want to see my Pokemon. No. Okay, how do I go to my satchel? I mean, how do I like... Hmm. Original satchel? Organized satchel? Oh no. Okay. It's, hmm. Do we go professor? I don't know. Maybe one of these people. We'll go to her first. Okay, not her. No. I don't know. Item storage. There. Okay. Move to satchel. 30. Okay, there we go. So now we have everything. Okay, that kind of worried me. Okay, so now we can catch these ghastlies from far. Okay, we won't catch them that far. Okay, these are really annoying. I've almost wasted half of them already. Well, no, not half of them, but, you know. Okay, so... Okay, I got... That was really weird. Okay, so let's come back and maybe try to... Sh this is Psyduck. Wait, did the ghastly escape? Of course it did. It had to. Parasect. Okay, I think we have to get a bit closer than that far. Oh, they're all disappearing. Okay, there's one. Okay, we caught that one. I feel like Ghastlies are like Bidoof, but at night. Because they're like everywhere. There's like every pl possible place I look, I see one. Okay, they're that. Maybe we'll try to catch some of those red Pokemon over here also. It's like Carnivine. Did that kind of vine escape? Yes. Ooh. Oh wait, one of the flames. That was, I don't know why I did that. Like I tried to swim, but I didn't sprint, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, at least we hit the parasect. And it escaped. Yay. Just one of this is the camp those people who stole the one of the ancient 
artifact thingy things. Okay, there's the parasect again. Uh, luckily, it hasn't seen us. Okay. Maybe if we shoot from all the way here. Okay, at least we hit her. Please catch her. No. I don't know how to get over there. Like, I think we have to... Hmm. I don't really know. But, yeah, we'll just go with the flow. There could be something down here. Yeah, no. What's down there? Okay, nothing really. This parasect's really annoying. Because there's no grass to hide in. So, like, even if I come a little bit close it sees me so i don't know yeah okay i'm going i don't know what to catch it with it sees me everywhere i go oh no don't see me ghastly oh that was sick i catch caught it and like pulled this way okay so that's caught okay i'm not going for that it sees us There's the side dip caught in the forehead. There's another ghastly. They're caught in their head. Okay, it's turning daytime again. There's another ghastly. We'll try to catch these cricket ones with a pokeball. Yes. We'll save the rest of the feather balls, even though we don't have many, but we'll still save them. Okay, there's one of- that's the very buff Tanglia. Okay, we'll catch that. And then we'll head out. Oh. Uh, we'll see what's going- what's- Oh! Ghastly can evolve! Okay, that's good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, Ghastly can evolve. Yes. Devolves into Haunter. Okay, that's really good for us because that means that's also counts as technically a new Pokemon. Or we might have got one already, I'm not sure. So we'll try to catch this Onyx. Okay, that, that was, that was really not good. I'm horrible at this, like literally. Yes, I'm, I'm horrible at this. I'm not going to try to beat the Onyx. There, okay, we got that. Oh, it's, that one's not crazy wild type. Yes, it sees us. I think we'll go with Haunter. Hopefully Haunter doesn't die because it's finally new and like that would be the worst A very... Okay, we're running. Yes, yeah, too powerful. It would not be a good entrance for, our, for evolving for the first time. Oh, so I might name the Pokemon, I'm not sure, we'll see, but... Oh, s escaped. Oh. 
I hate ca those heavy balls. They're so bad. I know they're. It makes it way easier to catch Pokemon, but honestly, they're just so bad. Like, there's no. Like, you can't even catch Pokemon from that far. They're useless. Oh my god. Okay, so, yeah, we're not gonna do that. We'll head up here again. See what this person wants. I could have sworn that Pokemon in the mass outbreak was a different color from the others. Okay, that's a oh that's a diamond member. Okay. That sees us? No. I hate this because, like okay, I love the game, but these Pokemon are just really annoying. Like why can't they just be like cute and fluffy and like called like fluffy bunny bear? Or something not like graveler or like I don't know um yeah you know you know what I'm talking about why why can't they VQ I don't know if there's like a thing where you can't catch rock types like or maybe if you use yeah like this is just getting annoying now. Like, I have three Pokeballs left, and I'm not catching a rock type with a heavy ball. Like, that'd be like a miracle if I do. One more left. Okay. We'll head up here again because this is where we were last time. Oh, there's a Carnivine. Yes, I'm absolutely horrible at this. I hate the heavy bows. I honestly think they're the worst ones. So yeah, guys, if you're still playing the game, don't get a heavy bow. Don't get heavy bows. Like they're, it's actually good advice because they're so useless. I know they seem like they're so easy to catch Pokemon and everything, but what's this? What's this? Ah, like. Okay, I'm not gonna, because you have to get super close. And like, even if you aim up high so it, you can catch them way easier, they go like one inch away from you. Like, what's this? There, okay, good, we got on the forehead. But like, other good Pokemon will see you easier. And like, it's impossible to catch them. We'll try to catch this Carnivine. Okay, there, we caught that one. The only time I'm saying don't use this is when I'm actually catching Pokemon, but still, honestly, don't use this. See, it even escaped, and I had to get super close. That was our last one, okay. I think we're, we have enough now, hopefully. But I don't think so. Let's go over to the Professor. We've caught 15 Pokemon. 3,000. It's not bad. Ooh. Ooh. 80 points left. Okay. I'm going to continue my excursion. And then I'm going to go buy Pokeballs. And then... No, I don't want to rest. I'm just going to just catch Poke... No, I don't... I just buy Pokeballs now. 63. <laughs> That's a lot, but like, you know, it's better than nothing. And then I'll just catch a bunch of Pokemon. Like, well, not a bunch, because I don't need to catch that many more. That's the whole point of this. So there's a Psyduck. There's one of the Carnivine dudes. That sees me. Okay, we're not going for that. I'm horrible at this. Okay, there. At least it turned around. Okay, that's our second. There's another one. 
This was the one we just tried to catch with a heavy ball. There we go. Okay, that one's good. How? I hit her. Okay, that's a bit confusing. Um, the reason why I like this game is that actually in other Pokemon games, it's super easy to catch Pokemon with Pokeballs. When in this game, you can you have to actually have skill to catch Pokemon and Pokeballs. Like in the other ones, it automatically aims it for you and stuff. Like, you know you know what I'm talking about. And in this, you actually have to aim, and it actually shows that if you're good or not. So you can't say in other games like, "Hey, I'm amazing at catching Pokemon with Pokeballs," because like it aims it for you. So there's no point in saying that. When in this, you can actually catch Pokemon like with skill. Instead of just letting it aim for you and, you know, but still, other games are still amazing, like, poke my, one of my, my other favorite Pokemon game is probably Sword and Shield, because, honestly, that game's amazing. I love, uh, the t for some reason, the textures is so good, that I, I love it so much. But yeah, I think we'll catch one more. Crokinks are so annoying. I honestly hate them. Oh, that was a good shot. Okay, I think we got enough. Let's head back to camp and see if we've done enough. Yeah, I have. Uh, for some, I have this feeling that we've definitely caught enough Pokemon. Six Pokemon. I think that's enough. Okay, one thousand two hundred and forty-seven Poker coins. <laughs> okay, so we've made new observations. There we go. Please say two two hundred and seventy. Derifus results. I d dare say you've earned yourself a promotion for to the next rank. Best report to Captain Selene. Eh? I'd be I'd get right on that if I were you. So what would you like to do now? Continue my excursion. Jolly good. Keep up the fine survey work. So I guess we're gonna have to head back to Captain Selene. So I think if we just go over here. Or no? Can we just go? Hmm. Go, return to the village. There we go. Okay, so that's good. So we're rank three now. That's really good for us. Ghastly evolved and everything. I'm pretty proud of what we did in this episode. And next episode, we're going to complete our next mission. Oh my god, I just wasted a Pokeball. <sighs> that's just annoying. Okay, so... Here we are, and then wh where's Captain Selena? There we go. Yes, have you made progress on your research task? If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Yay! A third star, that's good. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Team Expedition Team. You can now use Great Bows. Pokemon up to level 40 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have th this as well. It is f a further recipe you need for crafting. You obtained a recipe for crafting Great Bows. Recipe, Great Bow. A recipe for crafting great bows from scratch. Required materials. One apricorn, one iron chunk, and one tumble stone. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise rise, rise higher in the ranks. With your current rank, you should now be able to be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You, now your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island.
Okay, well, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Let's just leave. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I know I haven't been posting that much lately, but I'll try to post more. I'm not sure though. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe and like. I know I'm a U YouTuber, but I have other channels and yeah, I just want you guys to know that I actually, I'm not joking. I'd really appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe because it actually really helps the channel grow because I want to inspire it, like people to become YouTubers and, you know, make kids happier and stuff and all, every, all ages happier. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in another chapter video. Bye.